Oh, by the way, bro. Hmm? This piece oh, right here. Okay. Yoink. Look what I found. Yep. I oh, found and there's it. one at the very, very oh, end of the level as well. Final exam. I think I missed that the first time. Because I didn't realize it. Well, guys, this is it. The final episode of our playthrough of Ruby Grim Eclipse. It's been a ride to be sure. And to think, we started around the time Rooster Teeth shut down and we're ending over a week after Ruby had found its new home. It's nice to know there was a happy ending in all of this. Since we're at the end, I just wanted to say a few things. Firstly, I want to thank Sean, Mate, and Gin for coming on this ride with me. You guys were a lot of fun to play with. Playing through Grim Eclipse is something I've been talking about doing for some time now, even dating all the way back to when I did game reviews, and I'm so happy we finally managed to make it work. And on the topic of game reviews, now that this series is over, I've been wanting to get back into doing more scripted videos, and one of my ideas might just be a return to those days. Just a little wink wink nudge nudge for you all. Also just gonna let you guys know that future gaming videos are gonna be a bit on hold now that this is done. Just to give me time to actually finish a number of the videos before uploading any of them. Hopefully this starts sooner rather than later though. Lastly, I once again just want to say thank you all for the support on this series. I know this doesn't fit into the niche that my channel is known for, but I'm grateful that at least a few of you stuck around during this time, and I hope that there's a light at the end of the tunnel for us Death Metal fans soon. Until then, if you would be so kind as to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, share this video with your friends, and follow me on Twitter and consider commissioning me, I would very much appreciate that. And with that, I'm going to let you get back to the video itself, so thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye everybody. Yo, here's an idea for a game I, I had that I thought would be cool, a Ruby game. What if we got like a, a Persona style uh, game? Like an RPG game. Yeah. Where one day you would attend Beacon, and then, like, after Beacon, you would, like, choose to hunt Grim or socialize? Yeah, that sort of thing. Okay. And, uh, let's say your player character could be a uh, Mountain Glen survivor. And the main villain is Malo. I always thought that'd be a cool idea because it bring Malo back, you could maybe flesh him out a bit more, and you know would offer the mutant Grim as enemies. Also, chess piece. Yoink. There we go. Look at his face. He angry. He angry. He big man. He, he no like. He angie. Then oh no, Yang almost got shish kebab. Yes. Oh, I got shish kebab. No. Oh god. All right, you sons of bitches. Just let me break your shank. Let us destroy stuff. Oh, I found another chest piece. Yeah. How are you shooting the same guy over and over sure again? You. Yoink. Stay frozen. I killed him. Alright, this area coming up. This is the... Yep. The big one. Yeah, we're should gonna we do fight. A, should we, wait, should we do a heroic pose before we jump in? Back in the show again? Yeah, sure. Sean, get next to us. Sta stand in order. Yep. Camera, camera. Can I zoom out? Uh, no. Alright, All right, I guess, uh... This is the best we get! Yeah, well... Three... Two... One... Let's jump. Welcome to the testing ground, students.
Alright, you wanna fight a few waves, then it's the final boss. Yeah, he's got a metal arm. Heavy weapon sky. Holy and shit! Finally, yeah, yeah, that was my reaction when I first saw this thing. Mutant Death Stinger. Death Stalker. The right. Death Stalker. Whatever. Either way. Funny and thing is, is that the way there are go. regular ones found in the game's coding, but unfortunately, yeah, they're in they're in horde mode. Well, I I, I meant a giant one. There was one the game's coding, but it just Ow. wasn't used. Help! On my way! Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Holy shit. I'm sorry, what? I can't hear you. How are they trying to not die? No doubt you will save your taste as I save my life. Oh, we have to deal with a giant scorpion and these stupid robots. Yeah, and unfortunately the robots are a never-ending spawn. That's not annoying at all. It's why I really don't bother with them. I'm only trying to stun them so that I can just piss off. Also, I guess Sean could just freeze them too. Yeah. I can freeze almost anything that's like on. I tried to focus more on the boss, so... Ah, uh, okay, well... Oh, that's a lot of, uh, kamikaze crap. Oh my god. I got three robots just trapped in this corner over here. There are so many Grim here. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Come on. Come on, you stupid thing. Oh, I'm down again. On my way. Again, gotcha. Come on. There we are. Come on. Fire clone, bitch. Ow. Yeah. You stop that. Three little robots trapped in the corner. Piss off. Fire clone! Ah, oh, that almost Damn killed it. it. On the way. Wow, this thing Look is a Look at I'm down and face us. There oh. we go. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> I think I shot it. It's all over, Merlot. You've got nothing left. There is something. By the way, uh, there's a Blake achievement if you taunt at this point. Uh, you get it. Oh shit. It's just Blake though. Yep. Other oh, and, and uh, Proboscis? 
Due to the fact that they're... It's over here. Due to the fact that, uh... When they first recorded... Blake's taunt, it sounded like butter and butter. Instead of better and better. Anyway... Woo, woo. Suck it, Molo! Yay. And now he's probably dead. Um, there's actually supposedly a laugh from him at the very end of the credits. If you manage I died to find all the chest times. pieces, wow! And get freaking a wrecked. Full playthrough. Or Robuscus, man. I am a god. Yeah, you are. Holy shit. He mates the DPS, I'm the support, gains the tank, and bro is, uh, learning. <laughs> Dang. Thanks, man. Yeah, there's something uh, uh, that is pretty funny in these end credits. But hey! We beat the game! Yikes! Uh, I think my controller batteries are low. <laughs> <laughs> Valid! That's why I'm... I use a wired controller. I had nothing more to add to that. That's, that's what I think. <laughs> I mean, for for a game that exists because uh, a fan just made a project from the ground up, this is honestly better than it has any right to be. Yeah. Yeah. Also, for a, for a first attempt at uh, making a video game. Yeah, I was about to say, like, wasn't this like one of the first games we made? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, this definitely could have been a lot worse. There's one particular name I'm, I'm, I'm ignoring amongst these. Yep. Well, there's two for me. And not a bad, not bad for a seven-year-old game. And there's another name I'm ignoring. Uh, yeah. Oh, the name I'm ignoring came back. Yeah, um, it's the same one for me. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure, yeah. Uh, when does it come out? Okay, not yet. I'm just waiting for the funny thing to scroll up. I like how they can be, like, they've credited four guardians. Oh, here they are! Special oh. thanks! <laughs> Beer. Uh. <laughs> Lots and lots of beer. Yeah, that's what you need when you're developing a video game. Alcohol. And plenty of tacos. Puns. Overwatch. Overwatch. Felix the dog. And then there's very special things. Ozzy Posbourne. I get the joke. Ha. And you and me? Aw, oh, thank you! 
Thank you for dying eight times on the last level. <laughs> You're welcome. And thus ends Ruby Gl Grim Eclipse campaign. Still a fun game. <laughs> Error, you are automatically disconnected due to inactivity. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well, if that if that's yeah. not a good if that's not a good way to end this video, I don't know what is. <laughs>